right so welcome to the very first uh unreal tutorial this is we are in un unreal 4.27 here still um and this is about uh creating your very first landscape now uh, i just opened up a, a a brand new project right here and the first thing i'm actually going to do is even though it it is a blank project it still comes with some stuff that I don't need so uh, I'm going to write in here I'm gonna get rid of my player start so I'm just gonna highlight and delete that I'm gonna get rid of my floor I'm also gonna get rid of my reflection capture so uh, I am gonna leave my lights source um, the atmospheric fog you know we can leave in right now I'm gonna keep my sky sphere for now and I'm also going to keep my skylight, but everything else um, is gone. And the first thing now I'm also going to do is I'm going to go into Edit and Plugins, and I'm going to type in Land, and what's going to come up is the Land Mass plugin. You can see that it's not enabled right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable it, and doing so uh, will require us to restart the project so I'm just going to restart it and it's going to ask us to save it so we're going to save this and we're just going to wait until it comes back up okay and we're back all right so here is our project now with the plugin enabled and now we're going to create our first landscape and we're going to go in up here into modes and we're going to click landscape and it immediately places a landscape mesh right here uh, and you have all these different options here on uh, you know what size of landscape you want to create the the thing here is that there are recommended sizes which are you know which help uh, on on real process uh, the uh, the tessellation uh, and, the, and the scale of the landscape and if you if you google um, uh, uh, the unreal manual and uh, the recommended landscape sizes you will find this right here so I'm just gonna drag this in so you can see right here recommended landscape sizes you do have an explanation up here further up uh, how this works and why this is more efficient to use one of these recommended sizes um, and you know but the, the main thing here is that you know you have this list right here and you know what size you're using so in this case scenario uh, I'm just gonna look at this here now I'm gonna leave it at 63 I'm gonna leave this at 1 uh, but right here I'm gonna change my number to 1009 and I'm gonna do the same thing right here, 1009. So uh, you can see right here, this is up my scale. Um, and if I wanna up the resolution farther, but I don't need that much scale, one thing I can do is reduce the scale of the terrain itself. So if I now, for example, type in 50 right here, so then my X and Y scale has changed. Um, it has become smaller but at the same time my resolution hasn't changed so I have increased my resolution um, really important right now is also to enable the edit layer switch right here the first thing we're gonna do there would be actually no difference if we're enabling or, or this or not but um, as we are going into that plugin that we just installed we're gonna need that switch so I'm gonna turn this here on and I'm going to hit create and here is our landscape which is not very exciting at this point because it's just a simple plane but we have our sculpt tool automatically selected right here and we can you know just start painting and sculpting and you can adjust the strength of the radius right here so maybe if I want to make this a little bigger and if you if you kind of like let me just press this here and if you kind of like feel like this this got too big this got out of hand what you can do is you can shift click and as I shift click it's actually going to dig down 
So, but in this case, this may have been too much, so I'm just going to go and flatten this. Use the flat tool. Whoops. Just going to control C back to a little more reasonable scale here. Okay, so you can just you know, work on kind of like a hilly landscape. I mean, obviously, it's not not super super realistic looking yet, but this is one way of of making a landscape right here. And you know, if this is a grass plain or something, this may actually work. Um, you have all, um, a few more tools in here. You can play with those. The ramp tool may be interesting. So there's a let's see, let's put a ramp up here. So this works with a spline. You can see the adjustment right here on the left hand side. So I'm just gonna move this over here. We're gonna build a ramp up here. You can also click this and move it. And right here is our ramp width. And here's our side fall off. And when I hit add ramp, there it is. So now it's created it. And maybe I'm gonna smooth this here a little bit in the end. Okay, that was a little much. So maybe maybe let's try the hydro and erosion tools. So maybe a little rough here in terms of strength also the hydro tool. But this is something you're just going to have to play around with and see what you like and what you don't like. So I'm just going to, the erosion is going to smooth this out a little bit, I think. This is one, you know, one very basic way of creating a landscape. Now, as we enabled our plugin, what it did give us, it gave us this tool right here, which wouldn't be here if we didn't enable it. So I'm going to click on this now. And right up here, I have my tool settings, and I'm going to turn this you know, from none to, in this case, we're going to go custom brush land mass. And now I'm going to click uh, somewhere where I want to make a mountain. So maybe here. I'm going to click right there. And we've got a mountain. Well, <laughs> we've got a triangular pyramid but it's going to become a mountain. So I can adjust that and scale. I can also, in that spline, right click and add a spline point. Let me see it.
see right here we're a little bit buried for me to get to it but we'll probably get to it later okay so I've created this shape here which is not very impressive but um, let's let's work on it a little bit so gotta make sure that we have the uh, custom brush selected right here and now I'm gonna scroll down here and under the effects I'm gonna go to curl noise and let me back up here a little bit so that you can see this better so if I now increase my curl noise things are starting to happen as you can see right uh, so now it all of a sudden looks a lot more like a mountain and you know I can as I'm increasing this you know, stuff starts to happen you can see also that it's kind of like digging into that area that I created here earlier so this almost starts to look volcanic here then you have a second curl strength here it's just gonna play around you know with what you what you like uh, and if it feels a little bit too too you know jagged you can turn on the blur tool right here so it's actually was on by default in this case you can increase the blur size if you want that I think one was okay okay and then there is a displacement tool right here too so this is going to add some noise for displacement and you're just going to have to you know see how much uh, the number here is, is going to have to be relatively high so I'm going to go in with like 500 and nothing much has happened let's try it even higher it's working so um all right obviously that's too much still too much all right still too much but you can see what's happening okay so maybe maybe we'll leave it somewhere here you can see that as, as I've done this it's it's been digging itself in you know it's kind of like this it's creating this weird ditch we could you know manually smooth this out on but there should be a way for us to to get rid of it so let's try that smooth blending and uh, this is gonna be the outer smooth threshold so let's let's see what happens if we just some numbers in here okay so that's working there we go so now you can see that stuff has started to change okay and so you can see in comparison to what we've had before you know with the regular tools as opposed to the plug-in tools you know it's different right it's it's definitely um, I don't want to say necessarily realistic but it is it feels more more like a mountain range and you know if it's far enough away it will definitely work and if you play around with this more it will definitely work so you can also still keep adjusting this as you can see right there So 
so we can also we can also duplicate this so what about alt click and dragging or control w so now I have duplicated this entire thing I'm just gonna move this over here So maybe in the background somewhere. If you want to, you can rotate this around. You can see it, it, you know, depending on what we did to this area before, it's starting to, to kind of like have a different effect. All right, so uh, I'm gonna control W this once again. somewhere here let's see how this looks from the distance okay so I'm gonna control W this one more time and I'm gonna bring this into a foreground but for a different reason so let's just by the way, if you want to move faster, you can just up this here in speed. So I'm just going to do this. Okay, and now for this one right here, I'm going to have to look where this is. Okay, so on the fall off right here, there's this thing that says cap shape. I'm going to click this. And you can see that at this point, the you know, I've kind of like lost my my ridge, and you know that you can adjust this even further. Just move this out even more. But what I'm gonna try and do now is I'm I'm actually gonna try and create room for let's say a lake, and I'm gonna do that. By just grabbing my Z axis, I'm gonna just start pushing this into the ground. But you can see that my my angle is clearly an issue here. So let's try something. So 90 would be, you know, straight down. So that's too much. But let me bring this back up here so you can see what it does. And maybe let's try 45. Or maybe a little steeper, so maybe, I don't know, 70. Let's try that. Okay. So something like that. Maybe there's too much displacement on this one for this one, so let's reduce that to 500. Okay. All right, so this would be, you know, a lake bed or something. And then there is one more tool that I can show you. So there is up here, we can go and uh, run it into custom land mass. We're going to do custom brush material only. We're just going to click on this and you just saw what happened. So we just apply this material to everything. So this also now, let me just control Z this, you see the difference? So I'm just gonna redo this. And by clicking on there, we're now kind of, you know, uh, affecting everything. You know, we're, we're, we're essentially, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, a, noise, uh, a noise layer right here that we have on there. And you know you can do some adjustments in here as well. Well, this doesn't do anything. There it is. 
so here we can kind of you know they see the elevation scale so it's kind of like the noise the, the the farther I crank this up the more of this noise is going to be applied so you may want to be a little conservative here all right well this is our first landscape right here obviously we don't have a material on there yet there is another way to do that by bringing in the height map from outside uh, and I'm gonna show this to you in a separate uh, tutorial now one thing we still didn't do is we didn't save it and that's very important so one of the things you always want to make sure is you go to file and save all not save current not save as save all okay you also have this down here if it does that don't worry about it you know it's it's gonna it's gonna come back there it is so save all is also down here so this is something that you just really need to frequently do and this was part one and we are gonna you know we're, we're gonna be back and look at what we can do with a height map hope you like that and see you in a bit